Hello grade twos, it is time for our first spelling lesson. I hope you've been practicing um, some of the other weeks of the spellings that we've already started and you had your lists and were able to work through them. This week there isn't going to be a list, but there is going to be words that your mom or dad will help you practice as well as they'll give you dictate some phrases. But what I want to start with, I want to start with the letter C. Now, can you remember the sounds that the letter C can make? Right, it can make a k or a s. Now, there is actually, I'm going to let you guys in on a secret, there is a trick to know whether the C is going to say k or it's going to say s. And the trick is with e, i, and y. e, i, or y. That's an easy thing to remember. e, i, or y. Whenever a C comes before an E, an I, or a Y, it's going to say S. Okay? So if I have a C that says K or S, I'm going to push these E, I, and Y to the side. And then I'm going to pull my K, which also says K. So now we're going to have some words and to try and determine, do I pick the C or do I pick the K? So I want to build the word kite. Now, let's pretend, that, let's just push the k sound to the side. What comes next? K-ite. K-ite. Right. Oh, you know what? It's kit is what I want us to practice. Okay? So kit. K-it. So we hear a if, 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 it, t, t. So we have the I-T here, it. Now, do we put a C in front of it for kit, or do we put a K in front of it for kit? Who can think? Which is it? If I pull my C down here, do you remember the rule? What does C say in front of E, I, or Y? Because this is an I. The C is going to say S. So this would be sit. That's not the word we want. We want kit. So we're going to pull the K down and put a K in there, okay? And there's some other words that you're going to do at home, like cut. We have to try and determine, would that be a C or would that be a K? So, k uh, uh, ut. You know we need an uh, a U and a T, k, k ut. Can we bring the C down? Does it say k or s? It's not E, I, or Y, so that means it's saying K, K, Ut. Cut is spelt with a C. Now I'm going to also give you another trick. You want to always try the C first. Then if it doesn't work, you know then you can try the K. And you'll remember that because C comes in the alphabet before K. So try C first, then try K. And the three letters that make that C say S instead is E, I, and Y. Have fun practicing spelling words with C or a K this week.